how are you guys today? I am getting ready to head out to Valpo and I thought that I would just say hi before I have to go to work, and before I'm driving and everything. Uh, but Alex and I did not get to have our little coffee date this morning because we both had a lot to get done. He's already on his way to Valpo now. I'm about ready to head out, like I said. Uh, we both have quite a bit to do there when we get there too. That's how Monday mornings are, I guess, you know? Uh, I also have to run to Dairy Queen to go take my dad a couple of things. He has an appointment today uh, that he has to do later this afternoon, so I gotta get to him before that. There's just a lot to get done today. So, uh, yeah, and then this evening, Alex works the whole day, so he won't be home tonight. So I'm gonna probably stop at the store on the way home, get something to make for dinner. Um, no flour, no bread for me tonight because I'm telling you, it just like, I don't know, it just makes me not feel great. I feel swollen when I eat it. And uh, the, let me tell you, the pizza was worth it. Don't get me wrong. My mom's pizza was totally worth it. Uh, but I'm excited to just make dinner tonight and enjoy a cozy little night. I will tell you though, it is 58 degrees right now in December, which is just insane. And I think today is the last warmer day and then tomorrow we're back down in the 30s. So it's just been kind of a weird, a weird winter so far, I guess. I guess it's not officially winter yet, but anyways, um, yeah, I'm heading out that way. I might stop and get like a, a warm coffee, maybe a nice coffee, we'll see, on the way to work, but I don't know. I don't really have a headache right now or anything, so maybe not. But uh, Nala's looking at me from the window. It's breaking my heart. It's okay, sweet girl. Mommy will be home soon to see you. I'll be home soon. Go eat your treat. I'm talking as if she can hear me. We are making some moves today. Alex is cleaning a machine right now. Figured I would take you out here because I never really film here ever just because of like my business partner and everything. I didn't wanna, you know, privacy thing. But this is the store. I know you guys have seen it. That whole wall is gonna be changing. All of our colors are gonna be changing. These signs will be changing. A lot in here will be changing, but it'll still have a happy, positive vibe. This will not be changing. This is my favorite wall, and I just love it. Actually, some of you guys are the ones that gave us the short little one-line quotes, one-liner quotes, so love that. We're adding some more colors in here. It'll be very, very colorful. I know it already seems like it is, but it'll be much more colorful very soon. I had a feeling we were gonna be pretty busy today because we're running a deal and it's so nice out, and when I first got here, obviously we had just opened, so it was a little slow, but oh my gosh, this huge group's coming in now. But it's been busy. Uh, people love when we run these deals, so. Anyways, it's been really busy even during the day, which is crazy, so I'm happy about that. You know, you when you have a cold dessert business in the winter, you gotta, you know, you, you hope for the best days, and today's a good one, so no complaints for me. So I made so many moves today, and I just left work, uh, and I came over to Dunkin' Donuts to get a happy hour uh, iced coffee. They have any size coffee, iced coffee or tea, for $1.50 uh, between three and five, or three and six. I think it's three and six, because uh, it's a little after five right now. But anyways, I got that, and I get it with cream and the unsweetened blueberry. It's so good. Uh, it's actually something completely different, you know, than what we get at Starbucks, so I really enjoy it. But I wish I would have, like, my plain nut pods with me, because that probably would have been even better with it. I just, I'm so used to the nut pods now that... I don't know, it's weird to have just regular cream, but it's all good. So I got that, and I ordered a medium, and she gave me a large. She's like, it's any size, so we just gave you a large. I'm like, okay, thank you, but I really only wanted a medium, but it's all good. Uh, so yeah, uh, I was thinking about going over to my parents and giving my dad a couple of the things that he needed, because he wasn't at Dairy Queen when I needed to go take him stuff. Uh, and now he's like, well, I'm just going home, I'm not going to DQ, but I might just wait till tomorrow. He's fine. Uh, 
but yeah, so now I'm I'm about to just probably go home, maybe stop at the store, like I said, and grab. I really want to look for some spaghetti squash. Uh, Green Giant Fresh has bags of spaghetti squash now where they've already cut everything up for you and all you have to do is heat up the spaghetti squash so it makes everything like 10 times easier. But I don't know if anywhere is selling it around here yet. I know that they have them in like California right now, but I don't know if it's at our Walmart yet. So... I might have to go to Walmart at prime time, so I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but if it doesn't seem too busy, I might just go run in to see if they have it. Otherwise, I'll just get a regular spaghetti squash, or I'll just think of something else for dinner, but I was just thinking spaghetti squash, either with like a homemade sauce, either marinara or like even a homemade Alfredo sauce, just sounded good tonight, so I don't know. We'll see. It's either that or... Uh, maybe like my little cabbage deal that I love the cabbage and the kielbasa so we'll see but I am headed back towards our house now so I just got to Walmart it's quite busy but on the way here I was thinking about this and I have like 20 of these green giant fresh uh, coupons for a free product and because uh, you know they gave me so many wonderful things for our swag bags for the cruise and so I have like 20 of these left they expire at the end of the year and I figured I would share the love with people here at Walmart and then maybe go over to Target and do the same thing either today or tomorrow uh, because I'm not going to use 20 I mean I do buy a lot of crumbles but I probably won't use 20 by the end of the year so I figured let's spread the love a little bit I'm going to put a couple of these by the Green Giant Fresh products they have in there even if they don't have um, the uh, spaghetti squash I know they have the fried rice blend in there so I'm gonna go do that and at least spread the love even if I can't find the stuff that I need and who knows if once I'm in there I'll probably start looking around for other low carb goodies so we'll see how it all goes <laughs> Well, they didn't have my <laughs> spaghetti squash that I was looking for there. They actually didn't have any spaghetti squash at this Walmart. So I ended up getting some other low carb goodies, just a couple of things. I got some um, pork rinds. These are like the pork crackling kind. I did get some ribeye because they're thin cut and I thought Alex and I would enjoy this maybe tomorrow night. Uh, I got some Munster cheese. It was like nice and soft and it's like a Wisconsin cheese. I got these, which I'm super excited about. I have not tried uh, this kind before, the Asiago and Pepper Jack. So I'm excited to try this kind. You guys know I love the Parmesan ones I get at uh, Costco or on Amazon. They're actually so much more convenient for me on Amazon, but they are like $2 more that way. Uh, but this is a very small bag compared to the one I have. But I'm excited to try a new flavor, you know? So I'll let you guys know how these are. Uh, and then I just got some turkey breast from the deli. So those are the couple of things that I got at Walmart. When I was leaving Walmart, I posted a photo uh, saying that I, you know, put some of these coupons at Walmart and Target because I went across the street to Target and did it. And I'm, I was about to go to Meijer and I think I'm still going to go, but... I posted that probably about an hour ago on Instagram and Facebook, and I have received 18 messages, you guys, 18 messages from people. Now, the people that are asking if I can, like, mail them uh, coupons, I don't really mind that. I mean, unfortunately, I have to say no because I, after I go to Meijer and maybe go to Target one more time tomorrow, I'll probably be out of coupons. So I don't really, I don't mind that. I wouldn't mind um, sending them if I, if I had more. But I've received multiple messages now, a couple of them, saying that it's really rude of me to post that I, that I took those uh, coupons to these stores. And if I was going to do something like that, I should just do it without telling people. And one lady was like, it just doesn't make any sense that you would do that and then have to brag about it. And... I mean, the last thing that I'm doing is bragging about it. I just wanted to let local people know that they could 
find those, you know what I mean? And, and make it be like a sense of urgency type of thing because they, they do expire at the end of the year. Uh, and I want people to get them that are going to appreciate them rather than just like throw them away or something, you know? So I don't, I don't know. I, I mean, I know what I meant and I know that most people don't think that way, but there have now been two messages from two women, you know, telling me that that was wrong of me, but I don't believe in my heart that it was because I know that <laughs> I wasn't doing it with the wrong intentions. I, I don't know. I think that sometimes people just want to think the worst of other people. And I don't know, I, I don't do that. Like I try to see the best in people. And so I'm trying to understand why they would think that of me. But at the same time, like I probably never will understand because we just don't think the same. But anyways, I think I'm still going to go take some to Meyer because I wanted to spread the love. I mean, I could have easily kept all of these for myself, I guess, but I don't know. It's like you just can't win with some people, period. I'm not going to even let it bug me, but um, yeah. And to anybody that wanted me to send these to you, I'm really sorry, but I just don't have enough to do that. Uh, I guess I could have thought of that before and done like a giveaway. I have done that before in the past where we did like a giveaway on Instagram for the month and then I sent them out to people all over the country, but um, I just don't have enough right now because I, I seriously left, I think I left seven of them at um, Walmart and I left like five or six of them at, uh, at Target and I'm going to go take a couple over to Meyer, and then I have a couple of friends that have claimed some as well that I'm going to give tomorrow and my aunt as well. So anyways, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, sometimes I just don't understand people, but it's okay because I know that you guys get me and I get you, and that's really what matters. Like my friends, my family, my YouTube crew, we get each other, but not everybody thinks the way we do, I guess. You guys, it is so freaking windy. I'm like, what's going on out here? It's all of our stuff falling. Our, oh, okay, that happened, this happened. Still didn't get uh, a Christmas or holiday uh, mat today, but that's okay. Should have gotten it when I was at Target. All right, I really, you know what, I'm bringing this in because it's just gonna fall again. Jeez, this wind, you guys, is insane. You don't like the wind either? You don't like the wind either, sweetie? Are you scared? It's okay. I promise it's okay. Right now I'm just reading my little essential oil desk reference guide. There were a couple of blends that I wanted to look up. Uh, Thieves. And then um, I wanted to look up Digize. And I also am going to look up Helichrysum. Because this stuff, you guys, this is insane how well this works for so many things. But I just wanted to learn a little bit more about Thieves and everything that's in it. So this book is just incredible. It has so much information in it. Wow, this light makes everything so yellow. Uh, I realized though that I didn't even put my dinner on camera. But my house smells like cabbage right now because I made the cabbage and kielbasa because they didn't have the spaghetti squash. So I had some cabbage that I needed to use in there and I feel like I think it was supposed to be used by tomorrow, and I think the older it gets, the worse it smells when you cook it. I mean, it tasted fine, it just smells in here now. So I have purification going in the diffuser to try to help with that, but I'm just sitting here looking at all of this stuff and waiting on Alex to get home. He should be home pretty soon. Uh, I really should put my pajamas on. I still have like my clothes on from today. I have my boots on still. I don't know. It's supposed to be so cold tomorrow, though, uh, going from, it got up to 65 today. That is just, that's just nuts. I thought 58 was awesome this morning, but then when I got back in the car later, it was 65. I'm like, this is insane. And then tomorrow's supposed to be like a high of 32 or something like that. So, should be a little, a little much. But, uh, yeah, tomorrow's just another day of work. And I do have to get some things together around the house. Um, so I'll probably be here for a while tomorrow. I feel like I wasn't really here much at all today, just this evening. Nolly, she keeps making noises. I think she's afraid of the wind. It's bad out there. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow should be another good day. But I want you guys to say hi to Alex again 
before I end the vlog tonight because I'm sure he'll want to say good night. We'll probably watch This Is Us again tonight because we watched a couple of episodes last night. I cried. I think I'm going to cry with the other two that are coming up. I think we have four left, but we're going to watch two tonight and two tomorrow. And I've heard these last four are just tear jerkers so we'll see how that goes tonight i told everybody you're gonna say good night good night are we gonna go watch this is us yes we have four four yep two five. didn't no we have four left so we had six right so we have two we have four two. left oh wait we got the one and then the three three episodes two tonight two tomorrow <laughs> We already talked about this. No, I only talked to the vlog about it. I know, but the the problem is tomorrow's episodes I hear sad. I know. They're gonna be sad. Say goodnight, Nolly. We love you. Good night, Nolly. We love, we love you. you. <laughs> Good night. Good night.